Hello everyone, welcome to Red Duchess Farm. I'm Mark. It's an absolutely gorgeous spring evening. We haven't had many of those this spring. It was 30 this morning. Snow flurries yesterday. So it's a really nice change. And today's video is going to be about cross-pollination. I've heard several different channels hit on cross-pollination a little bit and since it's eventually going to be spring and it's getting closer all the time for us here in southern Illinois to be in the gardening season, I thought I would um, hit on cross-pollination specifically on the vine plants. Um, any of your corn is going to cross-pollinate. Okra is really bad about cross-pollinating, so um, I'm mainly going to discuss the vine crops and at the end of this video, there will be uh, two end panels that will have these seven categories and the listing of all of the different varieties that I have found in those categories. Now, these lists are not an inclusive list. There are others, many hundreds of others that could be in these lists, but these are some of the more common items that quite a few of us grow. So. Um, Let's get started. Um, got my cheaters from the dollar store. And of course a cheat sheet because I can't remember all of this. Um, the first category is Cucurbita Pepo. And that includes many of your summer squashes. Uh, yellow Crookneck and Yellow Straightneck. Zucchinis, Cocazelle, Patty Pans, your Scallops. Uh, it includes most of your ornamental gourds. It includes several, but not all pumpkins. Pumpkins are in several of these categories, but some of the varieties that are in this Kirkabita Pepo uh, category are Connecticut Field, Jack-O-Lantern, Sugar Pie, Big Tom, Cinderella, and Small Sugar. And also in this first category is the winter squash, acorn, and spaghetti squash. If you plant more than one of these in your garden, they will cross-pollinate with each other. It will have no effect this year on the taste of anything or the way anything grows, but if you save your seed and plant it back next year, then you'll have franken squash. So the next category is Kirkabita moshata, and that includes the winter squash butternut, as well as the pumpkins, golden kushaw, Kentucky field, cheese pumpkin, and Dickinson field. The third group, Kirkabita maxima, includes the pumpkins, Big Max, Atlantic giant, Mammoth Prize, Mammoth Chili, King of the Mammoths, and the Winter Squash, Hubbard, Buttercup, and a French one that I have seed for that I wanted to try this year and I can't pronounce it. G-A-L-E-U-X-D apostrophe E-Y-S-I-N-E-S. -E -E and the Ornamental Squash, Turks Turban, and Aladdin are also in this category. The fourth category is Kirkabita Mixta, and that includes the pumpkins White Kushaw, Japanese Pie, Green Stripe Kushaw, Tennessee Sweet Potato, and Mixta Gold. The fifth category is Cucumus Sativus, and that is all pickling and slicing cucumbers except Armenian cucumber. So if you plant more than one variety of cucumber in your garden, they will cross-pollinate. The sixth category is Cucumus mellow, and that's your muskmelons, cantaloupes, cassava, and the Armenian cucumber are in that category. And the final category is Citrullus linatus, and that's watermelons and citrons. 
those are the seven categories that the vining plants are broken down into and any member of the same group will pollinate with any other member of the same group so if you're wanting to save seed you will either have to do hand pollination which I will do a video this summer on hand pollination the way that you can take a closed female bloom and an open male bloom and open the female bloom insert the male bloom and put a piece of tape or something around it to hold it and then mark that fruit and save the seed from from that and um, that way you'll have true seeds I know this was pretty technical and pretty quick but like I say at the end of the video here will be a listing of all of the varieties that I mentioned in all the seven different categories and um, so hopefully it will be helpful to you whenever you decide what to plant in your garden and what you want to save seed from if you like our videos please like and share on your social media and leave a comment in the comment section we love to hear from you thanks for watching from Red Duchess Farm have a great day